Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to use Android Scalper for Finversia Broker. Okay, this is the software we are going to discuss today. The downloading and installation instruction I will add at the end of this video. Okay, so first to go to the settings and enable Paper Trade Mode. I am discussing all things in Paper Trade Mode. Okay, select the select the index Nifty. Uh, this is E strike. If you click plus or minus, the strike will be changed. And the below one is P strike, and you can change the strike here. Okay. After selecting the strike, you can click C to place C order, and you can see the profit at the top. If you click square off, you can the order will be exited. You can change the quantity here. Okay. If you click P, the order will be placed on P side and square off to exit the order enable cell and C to place cell order on the C strike and P to place cell order on P strike in position you can see the position detail click square off to exit the order okay this is basic things and placing order and exit okay and after that you can place stop loss and target check stop loss and target and enter some points to okay I have said Two points at stop loss and two points as target okay and disable to sell and click C okay the C order is placed and you can see the stop loss on 38.4 and on 42.4 okay order is exited as it triggered the stop loss okay and P order okay here on 28.95 is our target and on 24.95 is our target for his, sorry stop loss okay order is exited again as it triggered this stop loss next index SL here we just uh, select the index SL and index target and here you can see two levels one is upper and one is lower if you select C strike, the upper level is act as target and lower level acting as stop loss. And if you place the P order, then the top one act as stop loss and lower one act as target. Okay. So just place C and you can see this target and stop loss here. If you click here and change the stop loss. Now I changed my stop loss of 19.349. Okay, the order is exited. This is how to place stop loss and target on index. Okay, so we discussed stop loss, target, and index SL and index target, all these things. Okay, next one is trailing SL. This trailing SL helps to trail the SL for every point it goes upwards. Okay, that means if LTP is moving upward, the stop loss will move. Okay, stop loss follow the LTP. Okay, just check trail SL and plus C order. Now we have set the stop loss at 142.8 sorry 144.65 now it has moved to 142.9 okay it, uh, 143 now this is how trialing SL works okay this will move the SL when the nifty moving upwards okay that means the premium moving upwards if you select the selected index SL it will select the index point and move higher okay okay I just exit the order next trailing target here the trailing will start after the target of 2 rupees is reached okay click see
now our stop loss is sorry our target is 146.7 I just changed my target to one. Okay, my now now my target is one forty five point three. Now the target is reached, and the trialing has started. You can see the stop loss is one point away from the LTP now. Okay, the order is exited as it triggered the trailing stop loss. This is how to trail the profit. Okay, so trailing target is useful for for profit trailing and trailing SL for trailing the SL stop loss. Okay, so we have seen all uh, these things. Next, I am showing you this option Nifty less than Oracle. That means if they if you want to place order when the Nifty goes below some levels so if you want to place order you can use this option you just okay use this option okay i have selected nifty close less than or equal to 19354.c okay now you want to place order when nifty goes below 19352 okay Under strategy, you can see the detail, and you can add more quantity if you want to. I have added six hundred six thousand quantity here. You can remove this if you don't want, okay? Okay, the order is placed. Okay, this is how to place order using index levels, okay? And using LTP, that means if the LTP is goes below, going below above or below some values, if you want to place order, just uh, check 144. Here I want to place order when the current LTP C LTP go below goes below 144. Okay, click C. This is how to place order using LTP. Okay. Here also you can add more quantities. It seems like it won't reach this level now, so I am adding. Okay, the order is placed. This is how we place orders using the LTP. Okay, just take it. Okay, I have. I hope you all understand this part.
okay next I add little more positions and some CE position and some cell position okay I have added 6000 quantity CE position and 1200 PE position and 1200 cell positions okay here if you want to exit only PE position just to click the PE then the PE position will be exited and just to click C if the C position will be exited okay just to change this to stop loss to some level so don't do that easily okay I'll show you one more option here okay we have four position here and if you want to exit when the profit or loss reaches some level means here I have added thousand I am just changing to three thousand okay three thousand sorry minus three thousand That means I want to exit the whole position if the loss is below minus 3000 or profit is above 3000. Okay, after selecting this, just save. Okay, I'm changing this minus 3000 to minus 2000. okay the order is exited as reached uh, 2000 profit okay this is how to exit the order using profit or loss next when this target or profit profit or stop loss is triggered if you want to exit only sell position just uh, check this and okay here I want to exit only sell position okay when the target is free or pro when the profit or stop loss is triggered okay We don't have cell position now, so add a cell position. Now the order is exit. I will show you one more time. Okay, just a spot of the position. 
place some C order. We have C position 300 quantities. I have sell on P. Okay, P P position I have sold. First exit the order, okay. Because our stop loss and target is very low, uh, it will trigger very quickly, okay. So just click C, C we have sold, and P we buy, okay. Here C is 600 quantity we have sold, okay. I am adding few more quantities C. Okay, the target is reached and only the uh, sell position is exited and buy position is still running. This is how it, how to use this option. Okay, similarly you can use this option to exit only C, only P. Okay. Or you can manually exit by clicking this option like for example P, then P order will be exited. This is how to use this option. Okay. Don't forget to save this option after selecting these things. Okay. Otherwise it won't work. Okay. I hope you understand this option. Okay. Next one is chart. Here select the time frame. Here we have selected. Uh, nifty and I am removing all the lines we have drawn already and here this line and yes it will select okay the line and yes this helps to place order when the level breaches okay level broken if the level is broken I want to place order Sorry, select a strike I want. If you want to place P order, okay. Click drop. So if the level is broken, I want to place order, okay. Okay, the order is placed as it has broken below the level. Next, we have two options on this. target and another one is stop loss so here is my target okay Sorry. here is my target and click exit e okay we to exit and we have one more target that is stop loss and this is our stop loss exit we have added Two cell one to exit at the target and another to exit at the stop loss okay If you don't want to exit at these levels, you just go to the strategies and remove. Okay, click and delete. Okay, just click and delete. Okay, I remove this.
and I am adding one more here I want to exit ok just to show you how to use this ok ok order is exited this is how to exit the order ok using the chart next we can see how to install this software ok first to go to the website mkcodes.com click sign up and enter your details Okay, registration is completed. Next to check your mail. Mostly it's under spam folder, okay? Okay. Verify the email. Okay, email address is confirmed. Then open the browser, click login. First, go to the plans and subscribe a seven day trial. Okay. After that, click Android and Click this Finvas here. Download. Here you just need to add your client ID. This is my client ID. Okay. After adding this, click download. Okay. Install. done next to click the scalper app info and click battery and it has to run in background otherwise it won't work okay it should always run in background because it is not connected to any server so this allow this okay allow battery usage in background without restriction may use more battery okay because it has to run background after that open the app click register here you enter your details this api key can be found under prism.finversia.com okay prism.finversia.com you just log in here click the profile click the profile api key here you can see the api key and you just copy here okay paste and this is the password used to, to sign up on our sorry the password of your finversia broker and this is finversia client id and this mk email is the email id used to, to sign up in my website and uh, the last one is the password you used to, to sign up in my website okay after entering all details click register okay okay click login and enter your TOTP
okay logged in right now this software is available only for finvasia we are creating this for more brokers we will let you know in our coming videos if any other updates i hope you all understand how to use the software and how to install all things if you have any queries please let me know in comments don't forget to join our telegram group for more updates thank you for watching